Buddhism is centered on the Buddhist teachings, which are a path for spiritual growth. We walk a spiritual path to develop wisdom and compassion. And the spiritual path of Buddhists is to become an enlightened being who clearly sees the nature of things as they are. In line with that vision, we live our lives more fully, happily, and naturally. Now there are some practical tenets of Buddhist practice. The basic tenets of Buddhism are practical and straightforward. Number one, we live in moderation without going to extremes of indulgence or self-denial. Number two, we realize that all things are based on causes. Things will change when their causes change. Nothing is fixed or permanent. When we cling to things that are of nature to change, we experience unhappiness. Number three, we should act responsibly and realize that our actions have consequences. Lives are interconnected and our current actions shape our future experiences. So we act with wisdom, with kindness and awareness and not cause harm to others. The Buddhist teaching is universal. It is timeless and applicable to all people regardless of race, nationality, caste or gender. Buddhism teaches a way of life where practical methods can be used for us to transform our experience and gain realization. Whatever one's religious beliefs are, a person can still gain tremendous benefits by practicing the Buddha's teaching. Through this practice, he understands the realities of life and handles life's difficulty with wisdom, with inner peace and a balanced mind. In Buddhism, there is no room for dogma and superstition, blind faith, or the performance of meaningless rituals in order to gain heavenly birth. Mere belief is put aside and replaced by confidence that is based on understanding, self-realization and practice. The Buddha encourages free inquiry. These principles can be clearly seen in the Buddha's discourse in the Kalama Sutta. Now the Kalamas were confused by the contradictory teachings from many teachers and gurus who passed through the village. So the Buddha told Kalamas that it is proper to adopt in doubtful matters. The Buddha said that we should not easily believe or be misled by reports, traditions or hearsay. In deciding what to believe in, we should not be swayed by religious authority and texts, by mere logic or inference, by appearances or speculative opinions, seeming possibilities or even the idea that this is from our teacher. Now this is a very good advice, more so at the age of our time, when we are overwhelmed by a vast amount of information and disinformation. Here we can see the wisdom of not being fooled by propaganda, fake news and misinformation that bombard us. When a lie is repeated many times over, people begin to believe it to be true. We should be careful not to blindly believe in a tradition or some sacred scriptures because a tradition may lose its meaning through the ages. And sacred scriptures are not free from interpolations, additions and deletions made by pious theologians and scholars. Even logic and opinions may be problematic because the highest truths lie beyond the ability of an untrained mind to understand. Supramundane knowledge cannot be understood by mundane logic. We don't simply accept something, even when it comes from our teacher, without proper investigation. So what advice the Buddha gave to the Kalamas on how to accept or reject? The Buddha said, 
when you know yourself what is bad, blameworthy, and censured by the wise, abandon those things. When you know these things are good, not blameworthy, but praised by the wise, accept and practice them. We should always consider carefully before doing or accepting anything. Ask ourselves, is this a wholesome thing to do? When performed, does it bring happiness to us and others, both in the short run and the long run? Is this an action that wise people will perform without hesitation?